Hello, this video is for Main 0003, and you commented about my saddles and wondered how much they were, and also you told me about your, um, you had the running stallion, the pinto one, which is the traditional size. So anyways, um, I messaged you with one price, but that's just for, like, the average price. My saddles go for 25 to 35, depending on the work being done. So anyways, I'll show you the 25, which is, um, also my classics run from 15 to 25, that's how I do, and then 25 to 35, um, depending on the work being done on them. This is the basic saddle, which is, this one's actually the classic size, but it kind of counts as the basic, which is right here. Um, you see there's no rear jockeys on this one. And it's just a single cinch that has a buckle at the end, so it's like they kind of, one side's punch, hole punched, and the other one is, has the buckle, and that's how they go together. That's the one type I have, and then, you know, you just, you know, pick whatever color seat you want for it. This one has no seat color, I just decided to do it all the same. So anyways, those are the bare minimum ones that would go for, like, 25 for the traditional, which, you know, the $25 set, and all the sets come with a saddle pad. A uh, bozel hack more like this one, and uh, saddle, I mean saddle um, bags too. So you get four items, and then also I'll have a martingale, which I'm not so good at with my martingales. I only can do certain types, so um, you know. But those ones also come with it. So you get the martingale, the saddle, the saddle pad, the bozel, and the saddle bags in each set. So, anyways, this is the one that was in the video. They like the blue, the beige and blue. This one's like my personal one that I wouldn't trade. Um, this one has the more realistic with the actual kind of like the five strand cinch that hooks up and then like all four are hole punched in the saddle and then you know you have to use the special cinch for it. So that's one type of saddle. This is the most expensive saddle right here, which would go for 35. It has the rear jockeys, it has the four and hole punched the cinches, which, um, I'm actually not doing the five strand anymore, I'm doing custom woven ones, which take about five hours to weave, because you have to go back and forth on five strands. Um, it comes with the bozel and everything. This one has the different color saddle seat, and, uh, it'll have, of course, more realistic, uh, stirrups. These are just my temporary ones I threw on. Um, in the future, I will have it, like, where I can stamp the leather in different designs. But that's going to be ordered and take a few weeks to get here when I order it finally, which is if these do well on eBay. Um, you also commented about Sasha Moon. She's already been traded, so I'm just waiting for the package to get here so I can send her. Um, anyways, also some of my tack is going to the same person. But anyways, this is the saddle I am finishing right now. I, I believe this is like, yeah, it is the last of this color, leather. It's a reddish brown. It actually looks really nice in real life, and it has beige, so it's nice. It has the rear jockeys. It has four straps, and now this one here is $27, um, right now. no, $30, I'm sorry. It's because I, I just added the saddle pad so that, and the saddle bag, so that throws an extra three on everything, so it's actually 30 I'm sorry about that. Um, anyways, on one side it's going to be hole punched, on the other side I'll have buckles, that's the way I was making this one, right here. It's really nice, as you can tell. It's really nice when you look at it. Um, anyways, uh, that one I am finishing right now. I'll also show you some of the leather colors. Um, also, I actually just got stitches on my thumb. A uh, knife cut me while I was making that saddle, by the way. <laughs> um, I was splicing some of the leather and I was using a utility knife got snagged and then went and got me. So anyways, I just came back from getting stitches. Um, but never mind that. I can make, you know, so if you want this saddle, it'll have saddle bags that match, a saddle pad, a bozel will have the matching leather on here. It might have the lighter beige leather, I'm not sure yet. And, or it might have a combination of both. And then also, you know, you can pick the color of the bozel part, because that's the leather hanger, then you get the woven um, bozel, which can match the saddle pad because I have tons of fabrics and tons of different colors for the bozel. So just name a color. Um, 
I also make English saddles, which, please excuse this one, because this was a prototype. I don't have my other ones right now. And this is the English, this is like the prototype. I'm sorry about this. But anyways, you can see it has the snaffle bridle here, and it has the English saddle, which is not that good. Um, so if you want one of those sets, you can go ahead. I don't have that much black left. I also, um, do those. So anyways, also I checked out, and that horse is worth $30. So if you want more than just a saddle set, you know, it comes at $30. Um, I can throw in something else. Like, I make Arabian halters. I do, like, completely woven Arabian halters, which is very hard. But anyways, here, I'm going to get out of the light and move Mr. Darcy. Okay, there we go. Okay, here's some other things I make. Here's a really fancy halter I can throw in with it, with the sa saddle set. Um, that one's going to be sold on eBay for $7.50. Um, and it has a lead too. This is a custom I just did, which I was going to sell for 25 online. She has really realistic nose. Um, I'm working on her hooves right now. That's why the hooves are just white. But anyways, uh, here's one of the saddle colors I have. Which, yeah, these are the same color, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So anyways, these ones right here are similar color. So this, there's this color, which is kind of a chocolate light brown. Um, then I have this kind of darker brown, which actually, I don't know if I could get a traditional saddle out of this. Um, probably only a saddle seat. Unless, oh, actually, okay, I have more. So this is like a dark chocolate brown. If you want a dark chocolate brown saddle. Then we have this lighter suede, which I actually use for saddles, um, like the saddle pads. And not the saddle pads, but the seat of the saddle, you know, if you want suede for your seat. Um, here's the blue I use. For the saddle seat, I also have this yellow for a saddle seat. I have this orange for the seat. I have this orangey, well, it's like an orangey brown. Um, maybe I could get a classic out of this. I'm not sure, or a classic saddle out of that. Um, anyways, then I have black, which it got a little something on it, but I can get that off. Then here's a kind of in between, it's like a mocha. I have enough in there to get a traditional saddle out of that one. Um, then here's the suede, which I used on that blue and beige one. So this is the beige suede. Oh, it's kind of suede leather. That's the one I used on that one. And then we have this one, which is kind of like a... Not exactly a reddish brown. It is reddish brown, but um, it's kind of more like brown -y. Like that one up there is definitely reddish brown, and this one's just a little bit like darker brown. Um, which we have... Then this one, which is just a shade darker, which I might be able to make a traditional out of. Um, then these are just scraps, which I can make, like, seats out of. And maybe that's it of that. So I have plenty of that leather and all this leather. So if you, any of these colors that you want, just let me know. If you want me to combine, like, I can combine two leathers, like I did on that one and the other one. Or if you just want a solid color one, I can do that. I also have... If you want, like, locked fabrics of seat, I can go out and get some from the store because I'm really close to a fabric store. Well, not really close. I mean, it's a drive into town, but I go there anyways almost every week. So um, just let me know what colors you want. If there's a specific, like, pink or blue or purple, and I can get, like, flocked fabric, um, suede fabric, whatever you want. Um, I have other halters, check out my videos. I also have briar blankets, so if you want to trade anything, just let me know. Or if you just want to buy the saddle set, even though I really wanted to trade for the Pinto stallion, just let me know. Um, anyways, that's it.